Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are going to discuss about an interesting function called convex functions and I am I believe you have already seen these convex functions elsewhere and this will be just a refresher for you. So for example if I have a single variable and my function say looks something like this okay then if I take two points any two points and if I connect them and if my line if this line stays above this function so this is my function between these two points so if my function stays below this line or if the line stays above uh, you know this function then this is called a convex function okay and what are the benefits of convex, func convex functions are that it has one local minimum or minima okay it has no maximum so there is no point which ha where the function is maximum and there are no saddle points so that is the beauty of convex functions now convex function doesn't necessarily have to be u-shaped curve all the time okay so our function uh, convex function could also look something like this okay so these are the two points I can connect and still my function stays beyond the line sorry below the line and my function could also look like this which is sloping upward this was sloping downward and this is sloping upward and if I take any two points and if I connect them my line is always above the function right okay but what if uh, if I take something like this is it a uh, convex function can you answer then please put that answer in that comment section uh, so if I take these two points and if I connect them so I can see that for this portion of the gra graph my line is above the function but after this the line is below that function right so this is not a convex function okay so this is what we saw uh, you know from a single variable perspective so basically if I had a variable here x and this is fx so it's very beautiful straightforward and we can you know humanly see it and you know observe that okay you know I know what convex functions are but we are doing machine learning so we need tools and techniques mathematically to be able to determine this kind of uh, convex convexity okay so what if now we move on to higher dimensions that means multi-variable uh, problems right where we have more features more variables in that case uh, Hessian matrix comes for the rescue and we will see in our next video how Hessian matrix is used for determining the convexity of a function